Please invite the deputations into the room. I will first invite deputations to speak. Each speaker will have up to three minutes to speak. Your written and oral submissions will not enjoy the protection and immunity under Logical Power and Privileges Ordinance, Cap 382. So please note this point. First speaker, Mr. Lo Hoi Long. Good morning. I am strongly against the NYNT plan. Because when I was a kid, my teacher taught me that do not do to others that you wouldn't want people to do to you. Because villagers have lived there for a few generations, they're still living together and as extended families. So why should the homes be pulled down and evicted? Farmers in Hong Kong have provided vegetables and uh, pork for us for many years. Why do you want to stop their farming activities and say that they can uh, be rehabilitated elsewhere? Uh, my uh, grandpa lives in a PRX unit in Tin Shui Wai. Every day he goes to the park downstairs. He just uh, sits there throughout the day with nothing to do, and he has to uh, travel for more than an hour before he goes to Yunnong to uh, chat with old friends. I am 25 years old now. I don't want to see 20, 30 years down the road when I am 50s. Uh, my uh, son would ask me when chewing uh, uh, China grown uh, celery, why? Uh, there is no far there are no farmers in Hong Kong. Why do we have to eat vegetables from the mainland only? And how did the anti look like when you were a kid? I don't want to evict farmers and villagers for the sake of a PRH block where everyone is enclosed within four walls. We have so much land in the urban areas, why can't they be used for building PRH and HOS? Why are we asked to live in places now being occupied by people 
for generations. I'd rather be a useless person than a sinner. I don't want to um, live in a PRH unit in NDNT when I won't be able to uh, face up to my son's queries. Well, these people have uh, grow ve grown vegetables there for 40, 50 years. They should be allowed to live there happily. So long as we don't build so many luxury flats in the urban areas, we can satisfy the housing needs of many people. The government and developers should not have all the say about development. We want everyone in Hong Kong to do a better job so that we can face our next generation without qualms. And uh, Mr. Chen, we still have a choice. Before you decide whether you step down or not, withdraw the NDNT plan. And I only uh, saw your eyes are less than saw your face less than for less than one minute during the three minutes I spoke. Thank you, Miss Xinfeng Yi. Thank you. I'm Xinfeng Yi. I uh, live in Samshui Po Tong Chao Street, a uh, redeveloped site. I'm here to uh, support the uh, NDNT NDAs. All right, my shop, my uh, flat, my land is being resumed. And I think the NDNT shares a similar fate as we. We are living happily in our own flat. We do business there, and why all of a sudden you want to resume our land without prior consultation with us? So, uh, the land resumption process has been going on for six years in some shape and it's not yet complete. All my Kai Fongs have moved out. I live in my own unit alone. I do business there, but I am very frightened. Every time I ask the ULA to complete the transaction quickly, still it is not yet completed. So, Mr. Chen, please help us to resolve this problem. From 2006 to, nine, uh, to now, uh, the issue is still uh, dragging on. We suffer uh, mental stress. At first, we didn't know where to complain. We have nowhere to complain. We have really suffered. Mr. Chen, please help us. We're not asking for a lot. We just want a fair and just arrangement. I have a shop. I need to do business. Please give me an opportunity to continue my business. I live in a cock loft, you know. Uh, the uh, size of my cock loft is just the same as that of my shop. We have uh, almost 2,000 square feet. However, the compensation offered to us it's not enough for buying a 200 square feet shop. So please be sympathetic to the plight of ordinary members of the public and also uh, property owners so that we don't have uh, to suffer every night. The uh, nearby units are all vacated. I've nowhere to live. I've always lived. At uh, on the cock loft of my shop. Thank you. Uh, Secretary, please help us. All right. Uh, please note that the uh, subject of uh, this public hearing is NDNT NDAs. Of course, uh, you can bring out issues in your uh, submission. Uh, of course, uh, you may. Um, uh, draw reference from NDNT and DAs, but please uh, focus on the subject. Ms. Ling Fong Ha. Thank you. Chairman, members of the panel, we are affected by um, unjust development. So we must come out to tell you the evils of redevelopment.
Well, uh, the Kuntong redevelopment area is almost vacated. I'm among the few who have remained. The relevant departments have uh, been stalling. They have not tackled our case proactively. So uh, there are demolition activities going on, and I have to witness the um, disillusion of Kuntong, and the URA has turned a blind eye to our situation. The URA doesn't want to provide us with in situ rehousing by giving us reasonable compensation. So I am in a very a poor situation. On the 16th of this month, uh, there was a major piece of news because of redevelopment. A very good neighbor, a good husband, a good father was jailed for 15 months. Uh, uh, he was accused of uh, fraud and uh, other things, and a family broke up all because of redevelopment. So uh, he was asked to accept compensation for his flat. So how many people will become victims of NDNT NDAs? Mr. Paul Chen, you worked hard to uh, protect your family at the expense of other people's homes and means of livelihood. How should we view you? Well, your family owns 20,000 20, square feet of land. It's just uh, like uh, the uh, story in the Bible, uh, five uh, Cakes and uh, two uh, fishes were able to uh, feed 5,000 people. Well, you should allow farming to go on so that we have safe food, and you should allow uh, city and rural areas to coexist. You should take the lead. The government should take the lead to uh, make use of solid ways so that we can have organic f fertilizers produced and I all these uh, can be profitable and the government should also conserve our uh, rural areas and uh, refuse uh, sorting well I think I will pass on this written submission to the secretary certainly because we only have uh, three minutes each uh, there may not be enough time for you uh, to uh, tell us everything, but you can pass on your written submission to us. Yeah. Ms. Lao Tou Sheng, good morning, members. Good morning, Secretary. I'm here today because I understand the plight of NENT residents. They've been living there for dozens of years, and they have a sense of belonging there. You force them to leave the land. They are just like me. We are suppressed by URA. I am at number 187D of High Ten Street. My property is taken away by the government. It resumes my property. My right has been taken away. Secretary, everything you do is right because you are an official, you know the laws. I am just a grassroots. And even my flat is resumed. And our rights to the property is violated. One of the landowners has got the notice from court and his flats will be resumed. I just want to have a flat in Shem Shui Po so that I have a roof over my head. I have been in Shem Shui Po all my life. I study there and I work there. I want to have in situ relocation. Please really implement people-based approach. Don't try to profiteer in the name of development. What's the principle of development? It should be to change the living environment for people living in the old area to provide a new home to them and to keep the existing network 
in the community, you should not throw in a large amount of money to build luxury housing. Just take a look online and tell me which redevelopment project is not about building luxury housing and how many de redevelopment projects will really relocate existing residents in situ. Many residents affected are relocated to Chunmun and Yunlong. Some of them don't even get a flat back. The URA forcefully take our flats. I don't have any channels to lodge my complaint. I hope members will speak for the grassroots so that we can see justice, so that small landowners will not be driven to the streets. I will protect my home till my death. I won't bow to evil powers. I will continue with the battle. I oppose any anti-development, shelve the plan, start consultation afresh, and don't make mistake in uh, developing any NT. All right, time's up. Next, Ms. Lee Kwok. Good morning, Chairman. Members and residents. I'm from Sham Shui Po. I live on the fifth floor of 187D of High Ten Street. I'm here at this meeting on NENT because I share the feelings of those affected. We are the underprivileged and the people in power, the rich, they suppress us. The natural environment in Anti is resumed for High Ten Street in Sham Shui Po. The land price is suppressed, is reduced by ULA when they resume our land. And the compensation is so meager that in getting the compensation is just like we we don't even have a place to live in. The court already said that the UA should liaise with us to resolve the matter, but the UA simply stores its feet. It is not sincere in talking to us to resolve the problem. Members, Sham Shui Po is a good place. I have been living in Sham Shui Po. And Myself and my family love the district. It's highly accessible and the prices are cheap. I want to stay there so the URA should observe people-based approach. It should relocate the grassroots in situ. There should be flat for flat exchange. And I should be given a flat back. Members, you should know that URA is self-financing, so it looks at property and it suppresses and reduces land price, so it profiteers. It sets its eyes on a bonus on profits. It's operating in a black box. It lacks transparency, and the landowners cannot really bargain with them. They are suppressing us. URA acts in the name of development, but you should know what it means by development. It means building houses in the area so that the affected residents can move in. I think this is what it means by development. Do you agree with me, Secretary? URA sells the land to uh, developers and the grassroots are left with nothing. Don't leave redevelopment projects in a mess. Show any NT project. Start pro consultation and planning afresh, and uh, observe sustainable development. Mind conservation. We should keep rural areas. Time's up. Mr. Lam Chi Sheng, engineer. I'm from Association of Engineering Professionals in Society. On NENT NDA project, I have the following to say. Population is on the rise. We need economic development. We need to improve living environment. That's why we have to have housing development. We have to have community facilities and infrastructure development. In the past dozens of years, new towns development provide housing. 
It also provides industrial buildings. It all, they offer job opportunities. In recent years, we have subdivided flats in Hong Kong, caged flats in Hong Kong. These are problems. It attracts public attention. Property prices on the rise. People cannot afford housing, and rental is also high. As even the SMEs can hardly make ends meet. When compared to Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Singapore, we have limited land resources. So, providing housing has been the concern of public and the government. We need sufficient land supply to provide for private and public housing, as well as hotels. The revised NENT development cover 450 hectare in uh, Kutong North and uh, 160 hectare in Fanling North. They will provide for uh, subsidized housing as well as private housing to address the housing needs. It will attract a total population of 460,000 people. In Kutong North and Fanling North, the additional uh, population will amount to 170,000 people. There will be uh, housing units of 60,700, and 36,600 will be subsidized housing, and 24,000 odd will be private housing. There will be over 30,000 job opportunities. There will be retail commercial activities in the NDAs too. These will provide job opportunities, and will make proper use of public resources. Apart from that, the land will also provide community facilities. Some land can also be reserved, will be reserved for farming and village development. People will be relocated to designated area. The land will be for housing development to address our housing needs. Our association urges the administration to complete studies, engineering studies. Thumbs up, thumbs up for you, Miss Chen Lok Tong. Good morning. Let me introduce myself. I'm in my twenties. I will be the one who stands to gain if the NENT is to be developed. I may be living in the new town. I live in the Eastern District now. I've never been to Kutong before the scheme is announced, but I'm against the plan. From my education and from government publicity, I understand that there may be sacrifices in the time of development. Developing an ENT will sacrifice the interest of the villagers. It's inevitable; they get their own compensation, and. They will lose their jobs, and it's their own fault. But land shortage and the sacrifice of the minority to fulfill the needs of the majority—these are all lies by the administration. Media and academics have told us that we have lots of idle land in Hong Kong. The golf course can replace an ENT project, and、uh, there is evidence showing that the administration made wrong projection in terms of population. The project is not just. You are destroying the area. You claim, however, you will bring about benefits. I want to say that the three areas to be developed. Already have existing industries. There are recycling industries, 
timber industry and the only soya sauce factory there in Hong Kong. There, lots of villagers are living there. Some are non-indigenous villagers, but you shouldn't say because they're in the non-indigenous villagers, they they should be viewed as invisible. You could have avoided these sacrifices through better planning. So the administration should not shirk its responsibility. It should take on board public views so that we have a just society. Shelf any NT project and review land policy and land planning in Hong Kong. Thank you. Ms. Chen Chiu Ha, good morning. For a just person, you should look at the uh, public interest. For someone mean, it only is, uh, look at his own, he only looks at his own interest. I want to apply this to the NNT. The government has polarized local uh, peasants and farmers. This is wrong. Farming is a perfectly respectable occupation. As a city dweller, I ordered two kitties of locally grown vegetables. Uh, in a 2P household, you can uh, calculate how many kitties of uh, vegetables do I need from local farmers before I can survive. If all 7 million people in Hong Kong uh, want uh, 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 safe vegetables. How many farmers do we need? Well, this is about food safety and also uh, food shortage all over the world. Our neighboring cities, such as Shenzhen and Shanghai, they have the indicator of providing at least uh, uh, more than 10 percent of uh, their locally grown vegetables for people. Why is it that you have no respect? For the lives and safety of Hong Kong people, we should all be compassionate. One after another, village houses have been uh, pulled down without prior notice. A few days ago, a farmer burst into tears before the secretary. Uh, has the secretary ever put himself in his shoes? Well, you claim that you want to provide housing for young people at the expense of farmers who have contributed so much to us. We should not be put on the spot because the secretary talks about a growing population and not enough land. But why has the government considered an effective population policy with 4,000 hectares of, of idle land being used for containing yards and open storage? Why? Should we waste such valuable land? I appreciate that uh, Mr. Chen has his concerns because uh, the whole plan is not really justified. He only wants to complete his political mission. I am a teacher. I really want to defend uh, this precious land in NENT on behalf of our children. There are things that cannot be purchased. You cannot attack a price tag to our land and our clean environment. I hope that you understand that you should allow history and ecology and human beings to coexist. You should not evict farming households that have lived there for so many generations. Well, a gentleman will uh, work for the interests of everyone. I hope that my future generations would rather be a useless person uh, than uh, someone who only pursues his private interest. Time's up for you. Mr. Chung Chi Kit. Well, this is not easy. This is already the fourth uh, public hearing, and yet so many people have taken the time and trouble to come to here to discuss uh, these issues. Many points have already been expressed that we have our different positions. Uh, some uh, uh, is here for their sector's interest, some for their private interest, some are here to protect their own homes. All right, uh, we want to move government officials with justifications and uh, with feelings. Will NNT development plan resolve all these issues? I'd like to respond to what Mr. Lam Chi Shing said. First, why 
do we have a housing shortage in Hong Kong? Why is it that we have more units than households by more than hundreds of thousands of units? And why are still people homeless? Because some people speculate in housing, just like Mr. Paul Chen, our secretary. Why hasn't got the government policy for tackling this? We have got 2,000 hectares of residential land. Why shouldn't these be developed first before we develop NDNT? Many indigenous villages in the NTR4 development, where well, if you resume their land or abolish the small house policy, then you have 1,200 hectares of land for development. I'm sure indigenous villagers will welcome your move. Why don't you do that? Six. Is it really a land supply issue or distribution issue? Seven. Should all land be built? Must be we be totally urbanized? Is development a must? Have we considered the ratio uh, between uh, city and rural areas? Well, our built-up areas account for 23 percent and rural areas 5 percent. Uh, why doesn't the government use brown sites, brownfield sites, and also uh, vacant land for housing? Why can't and redevelopment in built-up areas? Isn't it ridiculous? Because you have to destroy. The existing buildings first. Ninth, do you have any planning for uh, commerce and business? Will you have enough jobs for people there? I live in Taipo. I ride on the Israel Air every day, and the Israel is really up to capacity. Has the administration considered transport links to the urban areas? Myself, I am a young person who wants to become a farmer. I understand that farming can be developed in a sustainable manner. We should have organic, sustainable and safe farming. This is my vision, but there is no development in this regard. I've been to Pingqing Mashipo. Land has been hoarded there, and the government has never done anything about it. Thank you. Ms. Fu Kaowing. Uh, Good morning. I am a student. I live on Hong Kong Island. You may say that I'm totally unrelated to NDNT, but just like people there, I'm a Hong Kong person. I treat Hong Kong as my home. Well, they are crying out. They insist on no removal, no demolition, and I am saddened. Why should their homes uh, be um, uh, be crushed where we can continue to live happily? Uh, you say that. A few decades afterwards, young people will be living there. That's a long time away. We thank you for your planning, but we, young people, have never said that we want to live there. We've never asked that people's homes to be crushed so that we can live there. Please do not shift the responsibility to us. We've never asked for it, and we are never allowed to elect you, and therefore you cannot represent us. Homes will be destroyed, and farmlands and natural environment will also be destroyed. Hong Kong needs farming to provide us with food, to provide us with healthy, non-toxic farm produce, and uh, the uh, natural ecology requires, on, requires farming to survive. Can we have just one nature park and that is enough? Can Hong Kong people have a society that is all built up? If farming cannot exist in Hong Kong, then what is uh, what kind of inclusive society the government is promoting? Isn't the government contradicting itself? Yes, we need to satisfy housing needs. We also need a balanced development in all aspects. To solve this problem, we must long-term and far-sighted policies, and we must have a population policy. Otherwise, 10 years afterwards, uh, even with Kutong, we cannot cope with the ever-rising population. We should not just demolish homes with old areas so representative of our culture and tradition have been removed. What is left of our culture were called a cultural desert. Will we just have a group of public officers uh, having uh, unauthorized structures and uh, holding land? So please manage our homes properly. You have invested so much in this campaign, Hong Kong, our home. Why don't you spare your efforts and do something more for the overall interest of Hong Kong? Please withdraw this plan so that 
uh, villages there can continue to live their home, and we can have friendly and inclusive Hong Kong uh, city and villages can coexist. We do not just need high rises. Please take care of the needs of the residents. Please be sympathetic with us. We all want to have our to have a happy home. Please help us to build a more acceptable home. Thank you. Ms. Young Lee Key. Thank you. I represent the Hong Kong Bird Watching Society. The following is the position of uh, the society on the revised NENT plan. First, uh, we support the resumption of Long Valley uh, for conservation and construction of a nature park. However, the nature park should be extended to the northern part of Long Valley. According to the Conservancy Association and my society, there are over 140 species of birds living in Long Valley, and it's also on the migratory path of birds. And uh, it also links up with the uh, Long Valley uh, wetland, and therefore the uh, sites uh, should be managed together. The administration claims that the northern part of Long Valley should be preserved for farming, and any negative impact, any um, any planning applications with a negative impact on the uh, nature there should be uh, rejected. However, we're afraid that indigenous villages can still apply to build small houses on private land near the uh, boundary of village environs. And uh, we're also afraid the illegal dumping of fly tipping will continue to happen. Long Valley has always been a farming area. The flora and fauna there cannot support human interference. Therefore, the area should not be developed for leisure and recreation. It should not be positioned as a metro park. Long Valley is in the between of two NDAs and surrounded by high rises. Such an isolated piece of wetland will see its eco value greatly diminished. It is just next to NDAs and there will be a cycle track and therefore pedestrian flow will greatly increase. Please consider the um, capacity of Long Valley and please provide facilities to prevent human interruption here or human disruption here. Long Valley is very important to wet farming there. We must have a mode of management that can take care of the ecology. The uh, nature park is a new concept, and therefore you must be innovative. Any activity that is, or any farming activities that is conducive to the flora and fauna there should be encouraged. Ms. So Chengi. Chairman and uh, Secretary, good morning. I'd like to criticize the mode of development of uh, new towns and uh, the urban areas. Uh, the government was very conservative in the early stages of public consultation. Uh, it was done very quietly, and many villagers were only made aware of uh, the plan at a very late stage in the internet. Well, if a society is really people oriented, how come in PE1, PE2, residents who really live there have not been invited to take part in the discussion? Take Kuto North as an example or NDNT as an example. They have their local economy. For instance, uh, there is a soy sauce plant and also industries that have uh, been displaced from elsewhere. There are long-time farmers there, and there is also organic farming going on. Is it because the government does not attach importance to farming such that it has totally ignored the economic contribution of farming there? We want new towns. Do we want more causeway bays, uh, more centrals, uh, more shopping malls, more famous brands? And do we want property prices so high that they are no longer affordable to anyone. 
What is the development for? You say young people want such developments. Have you ever consulted us? Well, after the XLL and Cho Yun Chun incident, more and more young people are willing to come out to ask for preservation of local farming. We don't want uh, this high consumption, uh, high growth development pattern. This is against our core values. You may think that, well, we're repeating the same arguments in these uh, four public hearings, but let me tell you that we do set store by such core values, and therefore we've come out to tell you, and this is public opinion. Have you ever paid heed to public opinion? Although what I say today may not be able to change the whole plan, but I believe we should take this opportunity to tell you what we want. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Lau Keifeng, good morning, members, officials, chairman. On NENT development, I have several important questions. First of all, for this enhanced new town development, it will only let the private developers make more money. And vicious land resumption will be more or will happen more often. So I suggest the government should resume all the land to avoid collusion between administration and business sector, and in turn, the government can take the lead in the project. The government doesn't have to work with the private developers, and that will avoid many problems. Next, I'm concerned about transportation. Secretary, you may not know that if you take the East Rail at peak hours, you know, well, the se the rail already reaches saturation point at present. There are over. 300,000 people living in Northern District, and in the future, after the NDAs are developed, the total population in Northern District will be 400,000 odd population. These people will rely on East Rail, but the East Rail can not take any more increase in passengers. You may say there will be Northern Link, but still. If the uh, residents want to go to the uh, city area, they have to take the East Rail. So do you have any comprehensive plans for railway development? Do you have any plans that can alleviate public concern? Next, job opportunities, employment. According to the enhanced plan, there will be over 30,000 new job opportunities in the NDAs. We are worried, however, this will be a repetition of Tin Shui Wai, the same mistake will happen there again. I don't think there are adequate kinds of jobs there. For the 30,000 new jobs to be created, they will be concentrated in the retail sector, in the shopping mall, so not many, many people will stand to gain. So will the administration consider providing more different kinds of jobs so that you will not repeat the same mistake in Tin Shui Wai? Thank you. Ms. Lo Sai-Yan. Good morning, Chairman, Secretary and Legislators. For the NENT project and how the government can protect the interests of squatters and non-indigenous villagers. I found the package disappointing. Developers hoard land, and they resort to all sorts of means. They threaten people, they fence up the areas, they send out ladders by lawyers. They may even get the help of tribe members to drive people away. I've seen so many of these occurring. I'm a district councillor in North District. I can tell you this is doing great damage psychologically and mentally to the villagers. 
there was a time that the government says the CNT approach will be adopted. The villagers thought that was their hopes, but now you work with the business sector, the private developers. This is uh, disappointing. The developers will stand to gain. In North District, many mainland investors are also hoarding land in Tinping Village, Lingshan Village, and even Pingcha and Taku Ling. There are land resumptions going on. Squatters and non-indigenous villagers, they are the most disadvantaged people. So please consider the following. Adopt the CNT approach. Pay heed to the land resumption laws so that you can crack down on speculation. When developers see that they don't stand to gain, they will decelerate on land resumption. And that will alleviate public concern that there might be collusion between government and business sector. And please pay attention to the needs of squatters and non-indigenous people. so that their interests will not be exploited. There should be coexistence of rural and urban areas. You may like to you may consider relocating the non indigenous villages institute. These people ask for little. They hope they will not be subject to disturbances. They hope the administration will give them more help. Thank you. Next Mr Kaman Fong. Thank you, Chairman. Now, uh, many problems in Hong Kong boils down to housing needs. There's a rise in population. The New People Party agree that there should be new town development to address needs brought about by population growth, to address employment needs and housing needs. Concerning the revised NENT development, we have the following points to make. First of all, job opportunities. I heard from a deputation that Ping Che will be taken out of the development and since then not much land will be left for R and D and industrial developments. Job opportunities in the area will be reduced because more housing units will be developed, will be created. In that case, many local residents will have to go to other districts to work. This will create pressure on them. People living in new towns hope that their basic needs will be addressed within the area they live in. So you should think about how you can address their employment needs in the NDA. Next, about farming. The New People Party all along thinks that we need to keep primary industry in Hong Kong. By that, we don't mean allocating a piece of farmland and that can be regarded as support to farming. We know land is precious in Hong Kong. But apart from allocating land for farming, you should consider the farming method. The farmers are relying on simple farming method now. The government should think about providing technological support to boost their produces. So don't just think that you can allocate a piece of land for farming and that can be regarded to uh, support to our primary industry. Any anti development cannot address all the problems we have. We understand that. Apart from this project, we understand that the government is considering development in anti north. For example, Lok Ma Chow Loop. There may be developments in future. Will you consider the 
any coordination between Loma Chow and any anti development. That's all I have to say for the time being. Thank you. Deputations and individuals, if you have any written submission, please put down your names there and give them to our staff before you leave the room so that we can further understand your views. Open floor for members. Three members have indicated that they wish to ask questions. Dr. K.K. Kwok, Emily Lau, Dr. Fernando Cheng, Anyone else? Gary Fan. Four minutes. Four minutes. Dr. K.K. Kwok. Thank you, Chairman. My thanks to deputations and individuals. We are on the fourth day of the public hearing. So, Secretary, after today, Because of many constraints and difficulties, we no longer have any occasions to listen to views. We can no longer allocate any time to discuss it in August. It's clear that some developers stand to gain and some people who have a vision will stand to gain from the project. But some people are very clever, like the family of the secretary. They knew about this plan in 1996. And in fact, in 1993, the administration already said that NENT would be developed when it announced the railway development. So some developers, like the secretary's family, quietly hoard land. These people are the ones who gain most from the project. The government is pandering to the developers with this revised plan. Rehabilitation of farming. Now, most of the land for farming are in the hands of the private developers. The government can always make changes. These land will not be built up, but maybe later after negotiation, buildings will be built there. So I think all these are undertakings about rehabilitation of farming are just empty words. Transportation is a problem. Job opportunities is a problem. But th these are not the, shouldn't be the focus. The problem is the secretary. Secretary, you have yet to give explanations on the many scandals, and if you continue to lead the project, you will face lots of difficulties. Some people ask you to resign. I'm not going to repeat it because it's meaningless to say any further on it. I want to tell deputations here that before consultation, you, Secretary, said that the project will be launched. There's no room for discussion. So is it the case that the government will not make any changes and that the deputations are here to waste their time. Is it the case that the government will take the land to give to the developers so that a small group of people can gain? Can you tell those who are watching the live broadcast and those who are here that the government would definitely implement the project? Secretary. Chairman, for any anti NDA development, it is to address the housing need in the medium and long run. It is an important project for us in this regard. Over 60,700 new flats will be built. Over 36,000 will be subsidized housing, including PLH and HOS housing units. Many deputations and individuals have come to express their views over the past few days. We have listened to them. And my thanks to you for 
coming here. We have jotted notes. We will consolidate your views together with other views we have collected to see if we can incorporate any of these views so that we can do a better job in the future. My colleagues will take the initiative to approach the affected villagers to give them explanation and on the basis of proper use of public money, we will give assistance. Will the administration go forward without um, paying attention to others? Ms. Sam Li Lao, I thank members of the public for coming to the last session of uh, the public hearing of the panel. Well, it's just um, the last session today. I think uh, what uh, members raised just now should be uh, pursued. We have uh, sat through all four public hearings, just like we. I think we know that the majority of the people are against this proposal because it is not a, a bottom up, it's top down, and for agricultural rehabilitation. There are hundreds of people uh, waiting for uh, allocation of land for rehabilitation. So how, how can we ensure that uh, the promises here will be uh, honored? I think we've fallen into this trap, Taxitus uh, trap. It's all about trust. All right. It's okay for you to uh, incorporate or to uh, collect the views received today. And uh, I understand the Secretariat needs some rest, so we will not meet in August. But after that, we have another discussion. We'll continue our discussion. So, Secretary, you need LegCo's support in many ways. So you have heard uh, the views, and as a fair-minded person, how will you say uh, we should proceed? Secretary, as I said, and we will uh, uh, proactively approach uh, the villagers to explain to them our plan. And uh, farming has been mentioned, and uh, farming rehabilitation as well. Uh, farming policies under the portfolio of the Food and Health Bureau. With the Bureau, we have follow work to do. With regard to agricultural rehabilitation, as I said, in Kutong South, we have identified fellow farmland. And a large percentage will be reserved for affected farmers of NDNT and DAs. I've also noted that much of the land is privately owned. So, the FHB and the AFCD will follow up for us, and AFCD will also take the initiative to approach landowners to uh, ascertain their wish, and farmers affected by the NDAs will be given priority. So FHB will uh, provide separate responses in relation to farming policies. And uh, some deputations are concerned about job opportunities. Well, let me share with you some statistics. The uh, NDAs must have more uh, housing units. So there will be 37,600 jobs. Uh, 15,400 would come from the shopping malls and retail sector. And you see we have also reserved land for high-value-added uh, scientific R&D activities. There will provide 17,000 jobs. As for GIC sites, there will be uh, schools, bridges, and other community facilities. There we can have 5,000 jobs. In other words, 
uh, the uh, jobs available there will not be uh, too um, will not will 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 be of a wide variety. Dr. Fernando Chang, we've listened for four days. The uh, voices of uh, people affected by the NDAs. For people who have interest in this plan, or those who go for economic development, think that we can uh, we can um, see the economic value in the plan, and they tend to support the plan. But for people who treasure the current lifestyle in villages or oppose the plan. At this stage, I think it is useless to uh, talk reason with the secretary because uh, he will just repeat the same replies. There are voices to ask Mr. Chen to step down. We've also passed a motion to that effect. However, at this stage, I don't want Mr. Paul to step down. I want him to stay on and use his strong will and with the protection offered to him by the government, I want him genuinely to stay on because he is now a symbol or icon of this unjust government. His appearance will cause people to think how um, lack of integrity this government is. His appearance will cause us to will will bring to mind um, subdivided units and uh, also uh, the um, conflict of interest in this government. Without him, the unjust, the, un the injustice of uh, the NNT NDAs will not be so obvious. So, Mr. Chen, please stay on. Use your determination and persevere. And I seem through this plan. I will let people see how we have uh, degenerated, and they will be able to see how this government, who has no concern for general interest, who is only interested in protecting developers' interests, and on the one hand they talk about loving mercy, and uh, they talk about a coexistence of the city and village. And then, on the other hand, they are destroying homes, destroying villages. This is very ironical. So, Secretary, please persevere, stay on for as long as you can. The NNT plan will uh, go on for a while, so please uh, go on. I'm sure you have all the support of your team. We'll explain to the public more. What will be destroyed? By the NNT plan, it will destroy uh, our land, destroy our culture, destroy our farming industry. We will continue to appeal to Mr. Chen to stay on in his job. Please persevere. We support you. We support you to stay on. Thank you, Mr. Gary Fan. Thank you. I thank the deputations for their attendance. The Secretary said that for agricultural rehabilitation, he will continue to listen to the views of the public. However, uh, in November 2012, when uh, we were in the fourth sitting of the Council, Dr. Fernando Zhang already moved a motion on agricultural rehabilitation or farming policies. And then uh, the uh, NNT plan uh, was mentioned. However, there's no response from the administration. So welcome you to come back. Even though the council will go into recess, please don't think that we'll let you go. Please don't think that we will also go into summer recess. Just like last year's national education, we will go to the community and disseminate this message. Too many people in Hong Kong don't know how bad we're doing in terms of uh, local uh, producing um, local uh, produce and. For the sake of uh, future young people, you want to destroy homes. It's not that all professionals have come here to say that 
building houses are always good. Well, there are surveyors, planners, and a group of professionals have tried to uh, think of feasible alternative. It is possible to uh, put city and uh, rural areas together. We use we we'll only use two thirds of the uh, funding of course for development of a new town. This is feasible. Still, the secretary has not accepted our view. So before the 1st of July, before we have uh, the Occupy Central campaign next year, uh, the most important issue will be NDNT. So please don't think that you can stay on. Please don't think that you can survive once again. Secretary, you claimed time and again that you and your wife did not own land in Kutong. And some members asked about asked you, and you said it was just uh, some of the shares of that company, uh, which really owned land there. You are a professional. I criticize you. You 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 are using your professional knowledge in accountancy or law to profiteer and to hide your potential conflict of interest. Uh, under common law, there is the principle of resulting trust. Uh, I'm talking about your uh, brother-in-law who purchased the farmland at $2.7 million only a few years after he was bankrupt. Perhaps uh, he did not use his own money. He could uh, acquire the land by means of a trust. And if the money actually came from your wife, then your wife is the beneficial owner of the shares. Can you openly say to the panel and to the media and to everyone in Hong Kong, where did your brother-in-law got money to purchase the shares at $2.7 million, given that he was bankrupt a few years ago? Are you or your son or wife the beneficial owner of the shares, Mr. Chen. I think uh, the uh, accusations by Mr. Gary Fan uh, were unbiased. Or were, I mean, were unsubstantiated. I said very clearly that it was a real transaction, transaction of shares from my wife to his younger brother, and the assignment documents were released to the public a few days ago. When are you going to make a disclosure, myself? My children and my wife no longer have any interest in uh, the Kutong plot. And I can say categorically that it was a real transaction, certainly not in the form of a trust. Mr. Cham Kam Lam. Thank you, Chairman. I thank the deputations for giving us their views this morning. The NDNT plan is still in a consultation process. However, we have discussed it for quite a while. Of course, uh, there are voices supporting and against uh, the development. From what I've heard, I think uh, the majority of the community would want uh, the plan to be improved so that people affected can be well taken care of and that there should be a proper balance between urban and rural development. Of course, recent developments have not been too satisfactory. Some people have deliberately shifted the focus to criticism against Mr. Paul Chen. I think such criticisms are unfair. Well, even if we want to criticize a person or to claim that he has conflict of interest, we have to look at the facts. If we are just calling uh, names and uh, using totally ungrounded accusations uh, to say that he has conflict of interest and he should not handle the uh, development plan, this is very unfair. Some deputations said that we uh, need to consume uh, local legal vegetables 
and uh, she has to consume uh, two catties of veggie every day. I think we should be fair. All imported veggies from the mainland ha are subject to very stringent uh, health surveillance. Most of our veggies come from the mainland, and if we say all the vegetables are toxic, well, this is not a fact. And I note that there are residents affected by redevelopment plans in the urban areas. Secretary, while we are not talking about compensation issues arising from urban redevelopment, we should address their problems as well. Of course, a land resumption and a and a short resumption uh, would impact on the lives of residents. However, the URA has acted in accordance with the law. The compensation package is based on a seven-year-old unit. Uh, when uh, land or premises are resumed from uh, shop operators, uh, tenants, or uh, property owners. Now, some people may not find the compensation acceptable, but some others, many others, have already accepted the compensation. In Kun Tong, in Tai Kok Choi, people who don't accept the compensation are in the minority. Many have already accepted the compensation and have moved out. How come only a small number are left and are facing the unfair treatment from the ULA? We should understand the matter from the ULA to, so that we can give a reply to those affected. So I think we should follow up on this matter with the ULA. Mr. Chem Kem Lam mentioned some deputations here are talking about some dissatisfactory treatment they get from redevelopment projects with the ULA. We can make arrangements to follow up on the matter. So for those interested in letting the complaint unit of Latch Co to know more about your plights, please let us know after this meeting. Mr. Alan Leung, I'm not sure whether the Secretary has read any magazines today, this morning. Now, this morning, it's reported that in the past, the Secretary works in or works for a real estate company, and one of his colleagues, surnamed Chen, well, it said that a Chen couple held shares of a company registered in BVI. Thus, according to the report, I don't know whether the secretary will give a reply in one go here. If you've read it, I think it's unavoidable that you should give a reply, but in but if that's the case, you are giving a reply bit by bit. In any event, you have to discuss the NENT project with the public. And in giving our replies bit by bit, has already created crisis. So I think it's really impossible for you to lead and launch the NENT project, Secretary. Now, the media pressed the Secretary to give our information bit by bit, and we come to know there are at least eight, nine companies registered overseas and we're talking about a piece of land of 20,000 square foot. 
for just a small piece of land, and there are so many overseas registered companies. Overseas registered companies involved. I don't think this practice is cost effective. No, I have questions for you, Secretary, for your family members, your wife, your in laws. Do they, in relation to any NT development, own any? Further plots within the development boundary. According to the declaration called for civil servants and politically appointed officials, the Secretary should also disclose potential interests or conflict of interest, not just the existing conflict of interest. So, my questions are first of all about the Employee surnamed Chen who worked for a real estate uh, a developer company and his wife. About this um, media uh, report, and next, whether his wife, or his uh, in laws, his family members hold any further land in the NENT development boundary. Secretary, I came to this meeting early in the uh, this morning, so I did not read the magazines. I can tell you firmly, according to my knowledge, my in-laws, my wife, my children, except for the Kutong land held by Stamen Industries. They don't own any land interest in any antique. My wife, ourselves, my children, as I said earlier on, in fact, my wife sold her shares on the tenth of August, tenth uh, of October, and since then there is no interest held uh, by my wife. And it was a real transaction. You are a liar. The BVI is not yours as big as not coming through. According to your knowledge, well, tell me, how many um, BVI registered companies do you have? According to your knowledge, how many of such companies do your family members hold? Do you know you are an official? You are doing something bad with BVI register companies. This is happening to CY Lung too. We have asked him about this for a year. We try to identify the person, the, the trustee, but we could not identify. The trustee, please pause there, Dr. Chang. His play card board blocks me. Let me show you what's written there. No, I don't want to read what's written there. You are blocking my view, Mr. Lung. Mr. Lung, please put it aside. Any known lies should be told to us. This is what he's here for. Now, yesterday, people gave you this bank notes from the Hell Bank. So what should we give you today? When I listened to the secretary, I thought about the story. Qin Kuai and his wife discussed how to conspire against General Erfei. And this couple and the, the wife of Qin Kuai dreams that she goes to hell and that their conspiracy has been exposed. She dreams about this. And Leung asked you the questions. 
I don't think you need to read the report in the magazine. He's just asking you whether you are making use of BVI companies. How many BVI companies are involved? How many are owned by your wife? How many are owned by your brother-in-law? Just tell us. But you refuse to do so. Tell us so we know how many possible lies are there. Well, if we know, then we will resign. We will、uh, stop here. We will stop here. When we stop, you don't have to come here to tell us. So, can you tell us that you, your in-laws, your wife, and Alan Lang, I think his own family, the Chen's family. May also own BVI companies. Anyway, how many companies do you own? Now I'll give you time. I'll give you time to give a reply.、Uh, according to your knowledge, how many BVI companies does your family own? You don't have to tell us some、um, issues about C Y Lang. Does C Y Lang know you have B V I companies controlling all these matters, Secretary? Mr. Lang's accusations are not substantiated and they're not fair. I'll take back my analogy. Mr. Lang, Mr. Lang, please go back to your seat. Mr. Lang, leave the room, please. Speakers of mic. Mr. Albert Chen. Chairman. Last time. I made an other play card about someone holding land. Please sit down. You are blocking others. I have several minutes only. If they want to read it, I can turn the board to them. Lang Kuo Hong. I mean Albert Chen. Shut up. I'm speaking for the people. If you continue in this way, I have to ask you to leave, Chairman. This happened in previous meetings, in council meetings. The the play cards are too large. I'll put them in the front. The most important thing is for people to see it. I want to show this play card about someone holding land. Albert Chan. Albert Chen, just put the placards there and go back to your seat. Put them down, and people can read it. You claim to do justice, Mr. Albert Chen. Mr. Albert Chen, I ask you to put down the placards and go back to your seat to speak. Otherwise, I'll stop your speech. You are abusing your power. I'm just showing the play cards. How can you stop me? I ask you to put them here, show them here, and then go back to your seat to continue with your speech. Go back to your seat immediately. Go back. A member should. Be in his seat when he speaks. I'm not causing any trouble,、uh, obstruction. We'll、uh, pause for five minutes.